You want to bite? Yum, yum, yum. My turn to be cheesehead. You don't really eat it. Look, he's like, is it yummy? No. No. My turn to be cheesehead. You are my brother. You are my sister. Battery. The kids are being so loving today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Two. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This morning, Symphony requested yogurt and a bagel with bagel frosting. Easy breakfast for mommy today. Did you sleep good, Abram? Bubbles. Your bubbles. Can you give me a high five? A five. All right. You ready to go bye bye? Yes. We're not going to Hawaii for bye bye time. We're gonna go meet Miss Jennifer. You're beautiful. You don't need makeup, but I don't mind that you play in it. That's enough. Yeah. Where are we? Applebee's. This is one of Symphony's favorite restaurants to eat at. For some reason, she really likes Applebee's and Chili's. Why do you like them so much? Because I just do. Oh, okay. So I posted a picture of this on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, and it is for Jen. I need to straighten out the ribbon. This ribbon I'm using is a little different than what I typically use, and it crunches up a little bit uh, more <laughs> easier than you know other ribbon that I've used in the past. We just finished eating. We're going to get some dessert now. Hi. We've had like the best conversation ever. Look, Symphony's bow in there. We've been talking about, you know, loving ourselves, <laughs> Sit down, silly. Not doing like you know the whole like self shaming. Is that what you yes. call it? And it's been such a good conversation. I love, I love my Jen and I love Mia. Okay, so while we were talking about that, Jen was telling me about this book she just got, and I kind of want to read it. It's called The Body Book by Cameron Diaz. Oh, it sounds so yeah, good. It's really good. Though. So it's, what is it like about? Like she's really just like tells you um, about basically how your body works, how it's designed, what's good for it, things we already know, but I don't know. In her own words, it's really just more inspiring than reading it out of a health book. But it's really awesome. It's taught me a lot. That sounds like a good book for women, especially like women approaching the 30s, the age yes. of 30s. Abram. Definitely. Hello. Yeah. You went down? Mama. You went the camera? I so enjoyed meeting with Jen. She is just always such a refresher. We always just have such genuine deep conversation about life and womanhood and it's just really really refreshing being around her I'm so glad that I had a chance to meet with her and I also love it that I always get to have symphony around when I meet with her because she gets to see what it's like to have Christian friends and how how good it can be for each other's soul how encouraging we can be for one another and um, you know just just how good and, and uplifting it can be to have those types of people in your life <laughs> What? Baba. What? Baba. 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 You see a Baba outside? Hey, Baba. Juju. Juju. Juju the rest. Say bye, Juju. Juju. <laughs> Double-handed wave. Juju. Look how he waves. He waves at the back of his head and with two arms. Juju. He said bye-bye. He said bye-bye, Abram. Who's that? Who's that? So last night at work was probably the craziest night I've had since I've been working at this new job. I mean, it was like a full moon night is what we called. We were being screamed at, thrown at. I mean, we had some patients that were just angry to be there. And we have to keep them under certain situations. When a patient is suicidal, and they come in and say that they're suicidal, that they've attempted to kill themselves, we can't let them leave once they come and tell us that by law. We have to keep them because they're not in the right state of mind to make the choice to leave at that point. So we have to protect them. We have an obligation to protect them after they, you know, let us in on that information. We had a couple last night that has uh, some issues going on and both of them wanted to leave and 
It was actually three, and they were all there at the same time. It was, oh wow, it was bad. We were chasing people around the, the ER outside. We had one lady who demanded to have a smoke, so she went outside on her own. She had a walker, and just, oh, it was so bad. At 5 a.m., it started to die down, and we got to, you know, chill out a little bit, and um, they fell asleep. A button, and it got a lot quieter. Button. You found a button? Mm-hmm. That's a little heart-shaped button, too. That's pretty cool. Hopefully tonight won't be as bad. I don't think it will be. There's no way. I don't think you can have two nights like that in a row, so I don't even have to hope for it. Eric just came over and pointed out that the house isn't painted yet. He came over like a week ago and was like, you're gonna need about 10 days to paint this house. I was like, nah, I can get this done in a few days. <laughs> but he came driving up, shaking his head at the house. We had another neighbor just now stop and ask us about the house. That's a big job, isn't it? It's like, yeah, pretty much. This is taking way too long. It's kind of embarrassing, <laughs> you know, for the neighbors that I've taken on this job and the house has been primed for over a week now, I think. What'd you find? Spiders. Where? Spiders. Where? What orange things and red things? Oh, wow. You're right. Look at all those. Can you guys see those spiders? How'd you find those? Um, it's just that Cammy showed me them, so I wanted, so I wanted to come check if they were still there. I can tell you cocked right here. What happened to your face, sweetie? There, is it still all real yellow? Yes, yellow in your eyebrows, and you have a little red thing right there. I think Symphony grew a little mole right here. She keeps picking at it. <laughs> Daddy, when I collect all the buttons that I could find. I'm gonna ask mommy if she can if if she can glue them on my treasure chest because I collect buttons. What other kind of buttons do you have? Come come in my room and have a look. Bring them out here and show me. Okay. Symphony has this long mushroom-looking thing growing off her face. It's so weird. It looks like a wart, but not like a little uh, skin tag almost, and it just sprouted overnight. What is going on with our daughter's face? All right, what you got? Okay, I have this silver one and this red one. It is little pearls. And I have this bluish black one, this silvery one. I just said hi. I'm not vlogging. How'd you know? I feel it. I can hear the camera open up. Let me see. What is it? I don't know. I thought it was a word. <laughs> she just keeps picking at it. Should I take her to the doctor? Yeah. Really? Yeah, for why? sure. Why? Huh? why are you saying that? Oh, she needs to get that removed. It's right through my face and it's long. Definitely I think it's long because she keeps pulling at it. Like it's like, I don't think it's like rolling out of her face. Yeah, it is. Definitely is. Yeah, you need to take her to the doctor. So if you want to take you to a doctor so they could see your face, okay? Because you have something right there. And they wouldn't have to look at it. I want to make sure it's nothing that's bad. Hold me. Okay, okay. Hi, y'all, bye. Bye, bye. Can I have a kiss? I love you, of course. You know that, right? Oh! I'm You did it right in my face. It smells like pepperoni. No, you don't. You look at Super Dad. He was playing with Symphony, and Abram came up, got jealous. at the same time. Okay. Let go of my shirt. Whoa! You want some cheese? No. Come get some cheese. Look at the cheese. Take a bite, Symphony. No, you can't really bite it. I know. Just pretend. Just pretend, right, bro? Um, yum, 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 yum. Mmm, that's good. You want some cheese? Come here. It's Don't be shy. It's just cheese, buddy. Come here. I'm a cheese head. Cheese. 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 It's cheese. Go get some cheese. You want to bite a cheese? <laughs> He's a really idiot. Hey, get back over here. Did you take a bite? You want to bite? Yum, yum, yum. My turn to be cheese head. You'll really eat it. Look, he's like, is it yummy? No. No. My turn to be cheese head. Look, Sissy's a cheese head. <laughs> what did you find? That? You can't eat that too. 
<laughs> she? Okay. Okay, so I just finished filming um, a video for Millennial Moms on the Baby League. And these are some of the things I had with me. Snacks, different activities that I bring along with me. I gave some tips on, you know, dressing the kids comfortably and having little toys. And Sandy is out here with the kids while I was making that video. It took me like 10 minutes to film, so hopefully I got an informative, good enough video. I don't know. Let's see here what they're doing. Oh, they're outside playing. How did it go? Oh, I'm good. Mama. Mama. I love that. Hi, baby. Color. You do? It just looks really purple in the like bright daylight sun. Yes. It's funny because at this hour right now, it does look really good. The, the shade is on it. It just it looks good right now. So you like it? Yeah. There's like a team on YouTube in the in the comments saying like with hashtag team ban blue like ban the blue something oh. like that I'm like oh my goodness what baby Sandy just had the most genius idea for a video we're gonna try it out maybe today um, so the first one was these are all kid experiments to see what happens when you're not around or when they think you're not around how they act um, genius. You know, it was inspired by this little video I saw on Facebook, so why not put our kids through it and see how they react? So we think we're gonna put out snacks, like when we get done with our walk, on the table and say, don't touch these, you cannot touch them. Don't open them yet, or wait for us to come back before you open them, da 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 And then set up a camera, walk out of the room for like, what, two minutes, you said? Yeah. And then just see what they do, how do they react? I'm gonna put them in this pot. And I'm gonna put a clear lid on it so that way they'll be able to see that there's snacks in the pot. And then we'll say, do not take the lid off of this. We'll be right back. Don't take the lid off. You cannot take the lid off of this. Y'all come see, y'all can come look at it. You can't take the lid off of that. You have to go sit down on the couch, okay? Only doggies can do, only kitties can do that. Okay. And dogs. Oh, I didn't know that. Kitties <laughs> lift themselves slowly like this. I think you guys can all have a squeezer now if you want one. Yeah. Y'all didn't open it, right? Did you open the lid while we were gone? No. Guys, if you liked our video today, please give us a thumbs up and come back tomorrow to see what we have planned. We are. What are we doing tomorrow? Oh, we're going to the doctor's office. Gonna look at that thing on Symphony's face. We have some other things planned too. So come back and join us. And don't forget, we love you and remember to love each other.